The government recently found itself in the midst of the longest partial federal shutdown in history. It went one for weeks because President Trump and Congress simply could not seem to come together to make a deal. While a partial shutdown implies that part of the government is still functioning, nine of 15 federal agencies were affected, and after nearly a month, many problems were created. While some essential services such as Medicare payments and public safety were operating, over 800,000 federal employees were going to work each day with no paycheck. The Social Security Administration has a shutdown protocol for situations like this, and it is not expected that during a shutdown checks would stop or that core programs would be halted. The plan states, funding for the programs under Titles 2 XVI and XVIII of the Social Security Act will continue, even in the event of a lapse in appropriations. The Social Security Administration, VI disability payments, survivor benefits, and retiree benefits were all part of programs funded this September which will protect them from the most recent furlough. The president repeatedly stated that any agreement with Democrats had to include funding for a border wall. Originally Trump agreed to a modified budget plan which didn't include wall money, but at the last minute changed his mind which propelled the government into a shutdown.